Hey, welcome back to Rusticon Outdoors. We haven't been out camping all winter, so we wanted to get out here and get one for you guys before springtime. And uh, it's really cold out. Julie's hanging out in the tent. We're probably gonna get a fire going here in a second and uh, just hang out for the night. But we got an awesome video coming up for you guys. So just stay tuned and uh, thanks for being here. Hey guys, we're hanging out in the tent. We were watching Good Burger too, but we had to pause that to make some dinner. So tonight, we're making ramen bowls. If you've watched the channel, you've seen us do this a couple times. Just a, uh, you know, regular old hot and spicy chicken bowl. We're cooking up some chicken out on the grill. It's very cold out, so I'm doing this a little bit more of a risky style here. But got some chicken going. We're gonna do some eggs. We got some mushrooms cut up. We got onions. And I'm boiling our water here on our big buddy with this cool little cook platform that we picked up at Shields. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have some dinner and probably start watching our movie again. And I uh, just wanted to quick go over this little spice thing, the multi-spice. We picked this up at Walmart, and I think the only thing that really worked on it was the... Actually, did anything work on it when we first bought it? Barely. No. Barely, we could barely get the salt out, you could barely get pepper out. Uh, as you can see, these are all still full because you couldn't get them out of there. So what I did is I popped the lid off and I put rice in all of them, and it's seems to help a little bit but to be honest would i buy it again probably not good morning guys we uh kind of slept in quite a bit we stayed up a little late last night and uh we just kind of hung out watched youtube watched some movies but uh we're up now i'm gonna get a fire going then we're gonna get some breakfast going we're doing some uh corned beef hash and some eggs this morning and probably some toast but uh let's get to it Got a ferro rod here. It's pretty cold out this morning. Uh, I didn't check the temperature, but it's a little cold. My hands are getting cold already. We uh, we were awakened earlier this morning around like eight o'clock by uh, three guys out here drilling holes for ice fishing, but it doesn't look like they stuck around very long. All right, let's get making breakfast. I 
You know, Julie actually never had corned beef hash until maybe like a month ago. <laughs> and uh, she loves it. So we're doing it again this morning. It's gonna be so good. It smells awesome right now. I don't know about you guys, but I like my corned beef hash on a little bit of a crispy side. But well, we're almost done with that, and we'll get some eggs going. All right, doesn't that look good? All right, the, uh, the corned beef hash is all done. I transferred it into a different container, and uh, I'm just gonna keep it warm by the fire there and then we're gonna go ahead and get some eggs cooking and some toast. I hate this thing. You can't even get the damn thing open. Man, that not good. I'm gonna climb in the tent with Julie. We're gonna eat breakfast and uh, we'll be, be back with you guys shortly. All right guys, we had our awesome breakfast. Kind of cleaned up a little bit around the campsite and uh, now we're just going for a walk. Well, our walk didn't go very good. It's, uh, it's very icy on a, a lot of the surfaces that we're trying to walk on and we just kept slipping and with Julie being pregnant, we just don't want to risk her falling. So we're just going to head back to the camp and uh, maybe just kind of hang out for a little bit. It's, it's pretty dang cold out. The sun keeps com uh, coming and going and when that sun goes away, it, it definitely cools down a lot. So yeah, let's uh, head back to camp and just uh, hang out. Alright guys, I'm going to get another fire going and uh, we're going to have a little fireside chat, talk about a few things, uh, talk about why we haven't been posting videos in so long, what's been going on and uh, yeah, let's just get into it. So let's get a fire going. Uh, I showed you how I made a fire earlier in the video but I didn't tell you what I was using as my fire starter and I just used my, uh, my dryer lint. 
it's free. You just take it out of the dryer, throw it in a little container, Ziploc bag, and bring it with you. And with the ferro rod, it ignites that stuff so easily that it's just, it's a perfect little fire starter. So let's get going with that. I'm also gonna use this little box here. Big old wad of dryer lint. Throw that in there. Yeah, look how fast that was. guys thanks for coming to my fireside chat just got a few things i want to oh dang it's got pop is that all right a few things i want to talk about go over um first i'm gonna start with this you saw me use that ferro rod to start that that fire that actually came in this gordon 12 piece emergency survival kit that i got from harbor freight and i really just bought it just to see just to check it out see what it was about it had a, it had a pretty nice looking knife on it and so we're gonna test it out and see how everything works. But so far, this ferro rod works great. This is the best one I've probably used so far. It's the easiest one to use. It's big, it's got a really nice striker. Uh, it's just, it works awesome. Now, the second thing, you saw me using this, this little bellow. This did not come in this kit. This is off of Amazon, I believe, or eBay for like $7. And it works awesome now the one that comes in this kit looks like this and let me tell you right now this thing garbage it'll work it does what it's supposed to do but it's such a big hole i don't know if you guys have ever tried to blow through a big straw or anything like that but it's just it takes a lot to do it so this is just not as uh it's just not as good as this little little one from amazon so i would probably just ditch this maybe throw one of these in your kit and you'll be good to go. So we don't need that. Next thing, I said it came with a pretty nice looking little knife. It's got, you know, quick open, it's nice razor sharp. It feels nice in your hand. It's got a glass breaker, seatbelt cutter. I'm gonna put this thing to the test, test it out, see how well it lasts. But it's a pretty nice looking little knife. Uh, it also has a little flashlight. Uh, it's extendable. I tried it out last night. It's it's fairly bright, but you're not going to see super far with it, but you'll definitely get around with it. It also comes with a pen. I don't know. It's tactical. It's got a glass breaker on it. What more could you want in a pen? Uh, it also comes with a little water bottle holder. Could put, put a water bottle in there. Carry it around on your belt loop. Self-explanatory. It's got a spork, spoon, knife combo with a bottle opener it's even got a couple little uh i guess that's probably like a 10 mil 8 mil if you really i don't know what you'd use that for but it's there and i believe this is a whistle doesn't work very good maybe i'm not using it right but it's got a little rape whistle on it uh it's got a, a little finger saw i've never used one of these uh, I will definitely be trying this out in another, another video. I was thinking that you guys want to see me go do an overnighter with just this kit. Let me know in the comments. So, never tried it, but we'll try it out in another video. It even comes with a little tiny little fishing line, a hook, and one little, uh, you know, worm. And in a pinch, you might be able to catch something with that. 
Also, you get this little paracord survival bracelet. I'm sure all you guys watching know that paracord is extremely useful in many different situations. Uh, this also has a very small ferro rod on it and it does work. It's very hard to use in between the two prongs, but it's usable. It's got a compass. These compasses typically tend not to be the most accurate things in the world, but it's there. It'll probably help you help you out if you're in a tough situation. And it also has a whistle on it too. And that works a little bit better than that spoon, but not bad. And then you get your emergency blanket. Uh, you could use this with the paracord. You could make a little uh, makeshift tent with it, and you know, I mean, you survive a night with it. You probably have to have a nice fire. That's what the, the ferro rod's for. But and then you get this little—I uh, forget what they called this little card, but you know, it's you've seen these before. You know, bottle opener, a little saw, different uh, methods of uh, uh, little wrenches, I guess. What you what they would be another style bottle opener, little measuring tape on it. But, I don't know, pretty cool. I think it was like 25 bucks. And uh, you know, I think what we're gonna do here is if we get up to 500 subscribers, we'll, uh, we'll send one of these kits out to one of you guys. And I'll have Julie sign it or something. <laughs> and. Uh, so speaking of subscribers, let's get up to that 500 mark. Hit that subscribe button. Share this with your friends. Uh, I know we haven't been posting in a while, but that's going to change. We got we got lots of ideas coming up here soon uh, that I think you're really going to enjoy. Uh, like we've, this channel is about the outdoors. We like camping. We like fishing. We like guns, hunting. So I know we haven't been doing any fishing or hunting on this channel yet, but it's coming. I promise. But uh, let's get into the next little topic here as to why we haven't really been posting in a while and uh the case doesn't want to latch down it does come in this nice little nice little case here which is pretty cool but keep this in your truck your car uh take it camping with you wherever you, you know wherever you can take it with you but let's get into why we haven't really been posting videos uh it's just Honestly, we've been super busy. I've been working two jobs and it's just been a lot. It's been hard to get out, get out into the woods. You know, we got to drive, you know, hour and a half, two hours every time we want to come up camping or just to get out into the woods. And it's just been busy. And then some unfortunate stuff has happened. Recently, my, this can be kind of hard to talk about. My mom lost her battle with cancer. And so this is this is my mom. And she loved camping, she loved fishing, she loved hunting, she loved shooting guns. So we're gonna take her everywhere we go with us now. Anytime we go camping, she's gonna be there. to get back into things with this video and help my mom's spirit live on and ideas and um, we've also obviously Julie's pregnant so we've been kind of laying a little low getting ready for the baby and all that stuff as well so uh, thanks for sticking around like I said hit that subscribe button hit that like button share with your friends let's get to that 500 subscribers mark let's get higher than that let's shoot higher but uh, 
just want to say thanks for watching and uh, thanks for coming along with us on our, our adventures. And yeah, that kind of wraps up my little fireside chat. Also, I know you guys haven't seen the Rusticon in a while. Uh, I painted the wheels gold. I think it looks a lot better. It matches our decals. And I just really like it like that. Tell me what you guys think. Leave me a comment. Do you guys want to see a walk around video of this? I know I haven't done that yet. So maybe, maybe that'll be another video coming up here. Walk around of the Rusticon. Oh yeah, I painted that fender too. It's not a perfect match, but at least it's not silver anymore. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know what we're going to do anymore. It's it's just so cold out here. Uh, we're probably just going to hang out for the night. And tomorrow, I think we'll, uh, we're going to pack up, head home. But on the way home, uh, I think we might go start, uh, go stop and uh, sight in uh, my new rifle. So stay tuned for that. I just did a little camouflage test. You can see, obviously, I'm wearing this camouflage jacket and pants. <laughs> and uh, I just walked out into the woods and... Uh, kind of ducked down to see if Julie could see me and she said she couldn't so <laughs> kind of cool we're just goofing off trying to think of stuff to do out here in the cold <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we're back in the tent it's just it's pretty damn cold out and we're running out of firewood so probably just gonna be hanging out in here for the rest of the night uh we're cooking up some dinner we're just gonna split a can of chili some bread and uh we're cooking it up on our big buddy yet again with this little cook platform and yeah it's gonna be good also i know you, I, you guys i know you guys are wondering how are they keeping their phones charged how are they powering their lights and they're keeping their speaker charged well, say hello to our new eco flow river max 2 this is a i think it's like a 525 watt hour unit i actually picked it up used so i'm not like super in on all the specs on it right now but so far it's been awesome uh we'll do another we'll do a whole video on it later i have some fun ideas that i want to do with it so stay tuned for that and yeah it's a pretty sweet little unit though we're uh we've been charging our phones running lights charging our speaker uh we were running a fan on it until we burnt the fan out but <laughs> That was my fault, but <laughs> as you can see, we're still 75%. Uh, I will eventually be getting a solar panel for it. And yeah, I think this is gonna be an awesome little unit. I love that it's got the little flat top. You can actually stack some stuff on it. And you can see my mom's hanging out there, but it's pretty cool. But that's, uh, that's what we're doing. We're just gonna have some dinner, hang out, watch some YouTube, maybe a movie, and uh, just relax for the rest of the night. And Unless anything crazy happens or, I don't know, we decide we want to go do something, we'll uh, let you guys know. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, we're heading to bed, but uh, nothing, ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> well guys nothing exciting happened we've just been hanging out in the tent watching youtube staying warm uh i did go out to the jeep to grab some a fork right yeah i broke i broke one of our plastic spoons i don't even know how i was wiping it off <laughs> and it just snapped in half but i ran out to jeep grabbed some forks uh and the sky was just absolutely gorgeous like Amazing. You can see every single star in the galaxy out there. It was awesome. Uh, I didn't try to get it on the camera. I just didn't think the phone would really pick it up. But uh, it's a little too cloudy now to try it. So we're going to head to bed. And uh, we'll see you guys in the morning. Night. Good morning, everyone. 
we uh we slept pretty good last night we went to bed a little earlier so we could get up earlier uh we're gonna go ahead and start getting packed up and not head home right away we're gonna head somewhere else to go to a like a little uh, gun range and uh, do some sighting in with my rifle we're gonna go ahead and get torn down and we'll be back with you here in a minute Hey guys, I'm glad to see you made it over here. Uh, this is the uh, shooting range. I've been coming up here since I was a wee lad. We used to have a cottage uh, over that way a little bit, but uh, yeah, let's do some shooting. And uh, before we even do some shooting, I want to say this part of the video is actually sponsored by my lower back and my chiropractor. He told me to get rid of my wallet. I got lower back problems. He said, get rid of that old traditional wallet and get something, get something else. So this video is not sponsored by Ridge, but this is what I ended up going with. I was I looked online, I was looking for a, a wallet replacement. I ended up going with the Ridge wallet. I love it. I even got the 24 karat gold one because I just I really like gold. So but uh I got one for Julie too, so let's uh let's give that to her. Yeah, probably. So I got Julie her very own Ridge wallet. Here you go, man. Is that the special on there? What are you doing? Man, I hope that was on camera. <laughs> All right, guys, if you guys, you, kinda, you, you didn't see on the camera, but it actually says I had it engraved. And it does say right on it, will you marry me? You can't really see it in the camera, but it's pretty cool. Julie always keeps all of her cards just in a fanny pack with her money all over the place. And sometimes we need a card and it's it's hard to find. So uh, this is pretty cool. I'm this super happy. Simple. And now we're engaged. All right, let's do some shooting. All right, guys, you can see the target right down there. Uh, I'd say that's probably from this picnic table here, probably like 50, 60 yards. But uh, let's go check out the new rifle. Julie bought this for me for Valentine's Day. And uh, let's check it out. So this is the uh, Radical Firearms RF-15, 5.56, 223, 16-inch barrel. We got it on sale for $4.99. Could not pass it up. And uh, we're gonna test it out, try to get this uh, red dot sighted in. It's just a cheap fire field. It was like 60 bucks. Uh, we'll see how that does, but let's, uh, let's throw some rounds down range. Right now, this magazine is uh, 30 rounds of 223, or for, YouTube purposes, it's only 10 rounds, but uh, let's do it.
All right, let's go down and take a look at the tunnel. Okay, so I was aiming pretty much center mass here. So, man, I don't know. I might have to take a few more shots. Maybe I'll try up in this corner. Let's see what kind of grouping we have. We've got one pretty high too, so we might have to make a few adjustments. Maybe lower the red dot down a little bit. But uh, let's just put a couple more down it and see what happens. All right, let's go take a look. And uh, I think I said these are 223-55 grain, full metal jacket, uh, Winchester, I believe. Or maybe these are Remington, I think this is Remington. All right, guys, honestly, I was aiming here, hit that. I was aiming here, hit that and that. Uh, I was aiming in this here, here, but I was, I think I was wobbling a little too much. I was trying to get my breath under control. But to be honest, I feel like it's, it's pretty dang close. All right, let's go throw some more down there. Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. Didn't bring very much uh, AR ammo, just because it is expensive. One of these magazines I have loaded up with, uh, I think 10 rounds of 223, and then the other, well, that's it. There's only 10 rounds. There's only 10 rounds, all right. Other, the, the rest is 5.56. Five, five, <laughs> Let's sit down again. My target blew away. Let's go throw up a fresh one. All right, I'm just going to go run down there, take a look at the target, see how our grouping looks, and uh, we'll come back up. All right, it looks like we're shooting a little low. I don't know if it's just me. 
not having good uh, control or if, uh, if I need to up the, the dot a little bit. Maybe I'll try shooting from the prone position and see how that works. All right, let's go down and check that out. All right, guys, that was not looking good. I was aiming for this square, and I'm sure these are probably all my shots right here. I don't know if it's just my breath or if I really need to do some adjustments, but here I feel like I was shooting low, and here I feel like I'm shooting high. So to be honest, I feel like it might just be my shooting. I haven't shot in a long time. Uh, In the Navy, I was uh, I was only called qualified sharpshooter with M16, and I had a qualified expert with 9 mil. But it's been a long time since I've even shot anything. So, all right, guys, I got as much brass picked up as I possibly could. Uh, we're gonna head out head out of here. I just wanted to show you guys this uh, nice Apache 9800 rugged mobility case from Harbor Freight. Uh, like a pelican case but like half the freaking price this thing's 170 bucks it's got locks both sides with metal reinforced locking uh it's got a vent it's got nice solid latches it's got the pick and pull foam inside so you can place all your rifles your pistol whatever you want in there but super nice case harbor freight man love it <laughs> all right guys that's gonna do it thanks for watching we'll see you next time